welcome back and uh, today's video is just another quick video um, we're going to be picking one of the challenge locks which Leon sent me and uh, this one really caught my eye because uh, as you can tell it's uh, the key has been mummified in this bullet cartridge and uh, there's the, the details for you uh, you gun people I'm not really interested in guns, hate the things, but um, there you go. Um, so the key does actually uh, come out of there and uh, it was taped in when I got it, but uh, since I've been moving my locks about, uh, it actually came out, so I may as well show you the bitting. I did manage to pick this before I had a look at the bitting though, so fairly nice. And Leon tells me that Burns SP is a... Um, is a... Uh, a lock sporter, um, and I've forgotten. He told me um, where. Uh, apparently, he's not a member of UK Lock Sports or has a YouTube channel or anything. Um, I, I personally haven't heard of Burns SP before, and uh, I've just noticed here it's actually a quick set key blank, which I haven't seen before. Um, there seems to be a little bit of hanging up when you uh, pull the key out, but. Uh, Apart from that, it's really, really smooth. So I'm going to try uh, picking this one um, in the vise. Just clamp it up. Now it's actually night time right now. Um, and that's why I'm not trying the front on view today. Uh, just because I uh, tend to get a lot of shadows from the camera. Um, I'm just wondering, maybe should I put this the other way up? I think I will do that. Okay. It's been a while since I picked anything, so... Um, let's zoom in here. We'll see what we can do to this. Alright. Tension. We're going to have to use a small end. And... Um, I can reach around the camera. Everything's a little bit strange since I've been moving things around. Okay, so that's pin 5 and pin 4. Okay, we got a little uh, full set there. Pin 3. Pin 2 is binding, but I don't know if it needs set. Oh, we got a click out of 2. 3 again. 3 once again. This feels like four, and we're open. All right, so lots of movement on the core as you saw. Very nice. All right, so let's uh, crack this thing open and find out what's inside. Um, we've got an interesting setup on the back here. Uh, just looks like there's a normal circlip on there though, so we should be able to pull it off, hopefully. without stabbing myself, preferably. Oops. We've locked it back up, but that's alright because we have the key. And whoa! He shot across the room. Where'd that go? There it is. Okay, let me clear some clutter. And we'll get my pinning tray in. There we go. Okay. And we'll grab a plug follower, tweezers, and we're good to go, I guess. Um, nope, that ain't gonna work. Yep, that should work. Never ever use this hollow tube uh, plug follower on a challenge lock. Um, let's see. I hope there are no jaggy pins. Okay, we're already getting hung up on something. Oh! Alright, the plug follower is too big to fit in there. Oh, that's strange. How are we going to get past that one then? I ain't got a clue. That's weird. Hmm. I have no idea. 
<laughs> my plug follower is too big. Oh well. Um, we may just have to do a reverse cutting. We'll just do that. Makes it more interesting, I guess. So pin five of the driver pins is a uh, looks like a mushroom pin. Pin four. Ooh, a T pin. I'm not sure if he was in the way he was supposed to be. Um, a spool. Pin two. Ooh, a very nice T pin. And also the spring has come out of there. A really, really rigid looking spring. That looks as if it's come off a clothes peg or something. And pin one is. What is that? Oh my goodness. What is going on there? Oh, okay. And pin one was a serrated pin. We have a lot of clutter here, guys. Um. Oh. oh, okay, I see, I was a little bit confused there because I thought this was a 5 pin lock, in fact it's a 6 pin lock, um, so I thought we had an extra pin there, <laughs> but okay, we'll knock whatever's in here out, spring's not coming out, oh well, and um, that one as you can see, just a little bit coming off it. At the top there. Um, I'll uh, have to have a look and see. Mm. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just looking at this. Um, just trying to figure out which way the core came out. Um, I'll figure it out after. Sorry. Okay, so nice and smooth on top. Let's dump out these pins. Looks like they're all standard. Okay. Um, it's been a while since I gutted a lock. And uh, while we're at it, we may as well use one of these fancy core holder thingies. Anyway, um, where did that pin come from? Darn, where did that come from? I haven't got a clue. That could be a tiny little spool there. Um, I don't think it came out of this lock. I think it actually came out of another lock. Um, <laughs> but I'm before I uh, reassemble this lock, I'm going to have a look at Leon's video. Uh, because he did a gutting, I think. And uh, we'll find out what exactly went on here. Um, it's just because I did a reverse gutting, it's quite hard to see which what came out of where. Um, but as you can see, we have some really nice pins. I'm going to find out. I don't think this was part of the lock. Just a tiny little spool. This is like from an uh, Aba 7240. And I uh, have had a few. Um, I have been working on a few, like the uh, Elf Defense Challenge locks. So, uh, anyway, uh, this one here, I really like this pin. Let's have a look at him. Okay, ooh, blur. Look at that. Oh, you can barely see him, but that's got really, really fine serrations on it. There we go. Really fine serrations on it. We have a T pin, and a really, really, this looks like a pin and pin. Um, and again, sorry. Um, another T pin, and. A spool and another T pin and a tapered pin. I think it's a. I think that's what you call a mushroom pin. Um, I'm not sure, but uh, it looks just like stock pins he's used here, which is uh, very nice. I like to see that because uh, a lot of people make their own pins, and that's very cool, of course. But uh, um, I don't make my own pins. In fact, all of the challenge locks I've made, I've either been using other people's pins or um, using stock sort of spools and things. Uh, so again, there's a key mummified in this uh, bullet cartridge. Interesting. Oh well, thank you very much, Leon, for sending this to me. 
thanks to uh, Burns SP if you're watching this video um, for creating this lock and uh, thanks again everybody else for uh, watching for being patient um, as you know there's a lot going on uh, recently I've been um, really 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 busy not just with lock sports and uh, tidying up the lab but um, I'm very busy at this time of year for some reason uh, but anyway thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in my next video